So basically I have um, some Calerpa. If you notice here, it's about to go sexual. So when you see these white strands, so Calerpa should be this very thick green color. But when it starts getting thin and turning white, then you want to prune off those pieces. So I'm just pointing some out so you can see them here. So I'm going to go ahead and start removing some of those. And then I'll just use my scissors to kind of remove it out of the water completely. And once we're done, the only thing we'll have left are the regular dark green thick strands um, of this feather calerpa. So here I'm going to prune um, some of this calerpa. All these pieces that look white, what I'm going to do is just grab them and bring them right out of the water. So basically I'm just going to use a net to remove any of the excess pieces of Calerpa that have fallen off just because uh, I just don't want them to take root in weird places. This is a tank. I'm not so concerned about things going uh, sexual in this tank and, and that is strictly because you know this isn't connected, this isn't serving as a refugium. It's not connected to my uh, display tank at all. It's a separate standalone refugium, or uh, if you want to call it a macroalgae tank. So it can basically go sexual over and over. It really doesn't bother me. I just do this uh, for a certain look. I just prefer to have uh, my Calerpa nice and neat. So I'm doing it more as a pruning effort, more so than to avoid it going sexual and you'll see there's a piece of ova that is in the way so I'm going to remove that. I have plenty don't worry. I actually have ova in my um, display tank as well. So now I'm just doing a little cleanup in here. Now I am one I kind of like to keep my plants in groups so here you'll see there's a piece of ova growing right in with this calerpa. I'm actually okay with that. I removed, I do heavy pruning, I removed a huge chunk of ova that was growing uh, in this area. And uh, this is enough to just allow it to grow back. And again, and it will fill up this entire area here um, without bothering any of the other stuff. Now this, by the way, looks like uh, a marine plant. However, this is actually coral. So this is, uh, these are little animals. This is a uh, Anthelia coral. And it has such plant-like qualities that I actually leave it in here in my uh, macroalgae tank and it grows just fine. And I have plenty in my display tank as well, so I can spare it. Now one thing I'm about to prune out of here, which is extremely unusual, is a little bit of hair algae. And I'm not even sure if it's hair algae. It might be some form of macroalgae that just resembles hair algae. But either case, I don't like the way it looks, so I'm going to remove it. And you'll see it's right here on the back of this anthelia. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that now so that we don't have to worry about that becoming a nuisance later. And here you'll see all I did was snatched it off and it's all gone. Now obviously the anthelia will open back up shortly and it'll be its normal self. So that's that. And you'll see these are two separate pieces of anthelia. I might even move one of them around. I don't know. I move stuff quite often. Back here we have some things that I don't like growing in with this uh, great calerpa. So I'm going to remove this red macroalgae. And what I'm going to do is probably, you'll see that my red 
macroalgae is attached to a rock. So it's just glued into the rock, if you can see that. So I usually have it where I can stick it into sand. So I'm very careful. So typically, things like Tonga branches come in really handy. Small pieces that break off. And then I can stick it right into the sand like so, wherever I want it to be. I finally woke up, so happy when we broke up It was the best thing for the both of us So somebody got they throat cut Sick of arguing with you Plus all the shit you do Walking around with an attitude Mad at me cause I'm mad at you mm -hmm. But now I'm straight Your boy is feeling great Got a little paper in my pocket So I'm moving and popping inside Outside with a tape Let's take a the lake Fresh off the grill With a couple pretty kitty cats cooking my